Now in our school watch, controversy over a proposal to implement a policy for transgender students in Canyon City. That policy would allow elementary, middle, and high schoolers to use their preferred name and pronouns at school, as well as use any restrooms or facilities related to their gender. News 5's Mayo Davison is joining us live in the studio, and she's been taking a closer look into the proposal and how parents feel about it. Mayo. The superintendent tells me they have a lot of transgender students, which is one of the reasons for the policy, the other being to comply with federal and state law. They were only able to do one reading before the school board voted to table it indefinitely. Wow, this is a much more in depth than I thought it was going to be. That was Sam's reaction when they read the proposed transgender policy for Canyon City Schools. They identify as non-binary and as children in the district. Kids talk about wanting to not have the genitalia that they were born with. They believe supporting kids during this stage is important to avoid any mental health issues. To have them grow up in that atmosphere that this is okay, this is normal, um, it would create a lot of unity. No amount of social acceptance, whether forced or otherwise, is going to change a person's chromosomes. Other parents, like Jenny, support a policy, but just not this one. It's extremely progressive, especially for this community. She is worried about her daughters. Women's sports, really big deal. Uh, I do not want my girls to be robbed out of being able to experience uh, competing against other females with the same chromosomes. Well, the policy would allow transgender students to play in a sport consistent with their gender identity. This concern is shared by fellow mother Buffy Cohen. Another concern would be for me having a freshman daughter getting ready to start her first year of sports in the high school, having a male in the locker room with her. Much of what is in the policy is actually already out defined in law, both federal law as well as state law. Specifically, Title IX, which prohibits discrimination on the basis of sex. They say they also want to comply with Colorado's anti-discrimination law that states employees and students are protected from gender identity discrimination. We've asked our legal team to provide to, to, provide to us a very, um, very script side-by-side -side on showing exactly where law is and exactly where policy is. The district does encourage families to attend the next board meeting, meeting that is next Monday. They'll be extending the time for public comment to accommodate more speakers. And those who can't make it can contact the superintendent or school board members via the Canyon City School District website.